Thailand has reported some cases of monkeypox in Thai and foreign nationals. It can be assumed that the virus is already in the country because some patients do not seem to have been abroad during the incubation period of 3 to 21 days. Although the government has not explicitly admitted it or explained how it arrived. Monkeypox is a viral disease that occurs primarily in tropical rainforests in Africa and is occasionally exported to other regions. The WHO has declared the disease a public health emergency of international concern, meaning its highest alert level. It is transmitted between people and animals by close contact via lesions, bodily fluids and respiratory droplets or on material contaminated with the virus, such as bedding. Sexual intercourse plays a big part in the spread. It is usually a self-limiting disease, but severe cases can occur. The Thai Ministry of Public Health says people should be vigilant but not alarmed. Unlike COVID-19, monkeypox is harder to spread and the chance of it developing into a global pandemic is very low. The ministry sees no current need to raise the level from an infectious disease under wash. Transmission requires a long period of physical contact with the infected. The reproduction number or R0 in COVID-19 is typically 3 to 12 people infected by one person, but for monkeypox it is less than one person. Past outbreaks in Africa have seen mortality rates of 3 to 6 percent, but the current outbreak is well below 1 percent compared to over 1 percent for COVID worldwide. Apart from checkpoints at airports, the authorities have asked hospitals, clinics, pharmacies, hotels and civil society to keep a close watch for possible infections and to alert them. There are about half a million doses of smallpox vaccine in cold storage, which can provide some protection against monkeypox, but monkeypox-specific vaccine is also to be imported. High-risk groups include the LGBTQ community and sex workers. They may be the first to be inoculated if this situation worsens. Medical experts have offered simple but crucial advice. Don't have physical contact with people with symptoms. Don't share belongings with these people and maintain personal hygiene.